Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I want to start talking about scales. I want to start talking about how to apply scales. And um, the first one we're going to start with, of course, is the major scale. Major scale is probably the most important scale because we call different chords from its digital sequence, meaning a C major seven chord would be, you know, the first note, the third note, the fifth note, and the seventh note, right? So that gives you that sound. So knowing the major scale, from there we can say a flat seven would be that. When we're, we're taking the seventh note of the scale, move down a half step. A lot more on that later. But for right now, this for this lesson or for this uh, podcast or what do you want to call it, let's just learn the major scale inside and out, and then we can proceed to more complicated things. major scale in theory is basically on a piano C to C all natural notes it's a seven note scale sounds like this and that eighth note is just the octave and um, we do name everything from this so this is a, the root this is a second major second major third perfect fourth perfect fifth major sixth, major seventh, and then the octave. So to start with, I just want you to really uh, just play the scale up and down. There's different fingerings for it. We're going to go over all that. But right now, I just want you to learn one fingering, and I want you to alternate fingers if you can. And the sooner you can do that, the better. So if we, there's different places on the neck we can play this. We can play it up here. Or we can play it down here. Or we can play it down an octave if you have a five string. Or we can play it up here. It's always the C major scale. It doesn't matter where you play it, what octave. We call it the C major scale. So let's try the C major scale starting on your third fret, or right over here, starting on C. And we're using all closed notes here, no open. And this is how it goes. Now, if you notice, this is one particular fingering. There's other fingerings. But for right now, I just want you to learn this. And you start with your second finger, then your third, uh, fourth finger, sorry. So it's second finger, fourth finger, then one, two, four, and then one, three, four. That's basically it. Now, the way to practice this is I want you to use a metronome. I'm using the Pro Metronome, my associate, James Hanford did a really good um, YouTube video on this. I think you should check it out. Uh, so I'm gonna put it on 85 beats per minute. I'm gonna take off beat one, so we just have all the same beats. Here we go. Nothing's accented here. So if we're gonna play the scale as quarter notes, So I want you to double that top note. And the reason for that is, if you're in 4-4, four, four, it'll come out even that way, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now the metronome's gonna play in 4-4. Four, four. The first beat's gonna be accented, and then the rest are not gonna be accented, so you can hear it. One, two, three, four, one. So if we double the octave. So that's really it. And what I want you to do is don't try to play really fast. Fast, the speed will come naturally. You don't have to do that. You don't have to practice playing really fast. <laughs> if you're not going to arrest me, you have a nice day. What you need to practice is really good technique. And we want to just make sure that fingers are all lining up on the frets. And it's actually harder in this position. As you get up there uh, a little farther, there'll be a lot more relief on your elbow and your shoulder. Um, but here's uh, a good way to practice this. Let's practice it um, as eighth notes now. So that's a little faster. And then when you get a little better, 
uh, you can either change the speed of the metronome or you can play 16th notes now. <clears throat> 16th notes would be four notes in every one of those quarters, okay? So you start with quarter notes, half of a quarter, your fractions is eighths, right? If you split that quarter into four parts, you'd have 16ths. So here you got 16ths now. <laughs> Now again, you don't have to practice this fast. Take it really slow at first. Just play the quarter notes. And then what I want you to do is just go up in whole steps or major seconds. So in other words, you're gonna play the scale here. Then you're gonna go to D, then E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, and then you're back at C. And then I want you to go all the way back down again. But I'll play eighth notes for this one, okay. smooth and we don't want any space in between the notes if possible. Now I switched to uh, playing 16s just to make it go shorter so the video isn't too long. Um, you can work up to that. Like I said, there's no rush. You don't have to try to beat the speed record here. This is about technique. And technique, when you practice things slowly, you're gonna have better technique. If you try to practice really fast, you tend to, you tend to accentuate bad habits. Um, that's why a lot of classical pianists they practice things very, very slowly. Speed will come naturally. You don't have to worry about speed. You want, you want to get your, your brain working. It's not just a physical thing. It's the neurons and pathways, and neural pathways that help with this. So um, like I said, practice really slow. You're not gonna, it's not gonna be a bad thing. Now I want to talk about that we are playing every note as precisely as we can. We would not do that in, re in music. Sometimes you, you want to put a hammer on. Sometimes you don't want to play every single note. But to practice, we want to play every single note so that we have a choice later. So keep that in mind. We're practicing now. We're taking away options. We want to practice and be as precise as possible. I'm using two fingers. Um, you can also practice um, using two fingers on every note if you'd like. So that would sound like this. So in that example, I went up in eighth notes, I came down in sixteenth. You can do either one. Uh, you can mix it up a little if you'd like to, too. Whatever's fun. There's no rules here, really. Now, again, uh, practice it going up a whole step, then another whole step. That's, I want things really simple on this first one. I just want you to know the scale inside and out. And tell yourself where you're going. It's C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, back to C. So try to get in touch with your instrument that way, okay? And again, don't change the fingering for this one. I'm gonna give you all these other fingerings, but I just want you to see where everything is. And, and also realize, you know, like I said, this is the root, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, major seventh, okay? And then later we'll talk about why it's a nine or, you know, a sharp 11. We'll get into all that stuff later. But for not right now, I just want you to live and breathe major scale because everything else we talk about if I say it's a flat 13 in the future, you're gonna know that it's an A flat because an A natural is a 13. So flat 13 is gonna be A flat. These are things that are gonna come later. Um, and I just don't wanna confuse you right now. So anyway, have fun with this and we'll see you on part two real soon. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up because then I can continue to do these. All right, you guys have a good time. Take care. Mullet!